Hey guys, so this uh, for this video we just want to say a warning that these are going to be spoiler filled and we are going to talk about the ending, endings of these movies, obviously, but we just want to warn you all. Yeah, so watch at your own risk. So guys, have you ever seen a movie and you just... We're going good. It may not have been like a fantastic movie, but it was just building up anticipation all the way to the end, and you just saw this twist coming, and you're like, and it just went totally dead, and it, all that anticipation just died down because of how horrible the ending was, or how bad the twist was, and it just totally messed up the whole movie, or it just just totally disappointed you and all. It's because this video will be about those movies. This will be our top six worst endings to you know good movies yeah and these will be movies that we think in general are good movies these movies we don't think are bad we just feel like the endings are bad so guys just so you all know this video will be time for each of us each of our responses so our responses don't get too long okay and just to let y'all know we are going to each have two different lists so that's why we'll bring up two sixes two fives and so on and we have we have the same movies on our list, some of the same movies, just different order. All right, so you ready? Here we go. Number six. All right, guys. So for my number six, I have Superman, the original with Keanu, Re the Christop <laughs> Christopher <laughs> Christopher Reeves. Reeves. And so um, the reason why I have this movie on this uh, list for number six is because you know you had this really big anticipation for this movie, Superman. And it just totally dropped the ball at the ending. You have Lois Lane die, which, you know, it's, you know that, that would have been a bad ending on its own. <laughs> but they decided to do something ridiculously stupid, and they have the worst special effects, which I know they didn't have good special effects at this time, but you have Superman go around the entire Earth, and then go back in time and have Lois Lane come back to life, which would never happen, obviously. You have you have like an ant on a basketball, you turn it back around, and it dies, it's never gonna come back to life. So my number six is gonna be the movie Signs. Now this movie is about a American family, uh, Mel Gibson and Joaquin Phoenix and this girl. And they're living in this country house with these aliens that are about to come to Earth. And so the movie's building up this, these mysterious beings, this, these aliens, really creepy. But at the end of the movie, it turns out that you can just kill these aliens with just plain old water. It's not even like holy water or anything. And it like burns their skin. And all we get for an ending is them pouring water on these aliens and hitting them with a baseball bat. Number five. For my number five, I have Pay It Forward, which stars Haley Joe Osment and Kevin Spacey. And this movie is about a kid who gets an assignment from his teacher to start get, doing good deeds. And so he decides to actually pay forward good deeds instead of actually expecting deeds back. And so in this movie, he tricks his uh, teacher and his mom to get together. And at the end, by the end of the movie, his mom and his teacher are together and everything's going good. He has several people that have actually paid uh, good deeds forward. And then he goes to see this kid getting bullied. He walks up to him to help stop this bullying and he gets stabbed and dies. And that to me is just a horrible ending to a really heartfelt and actually pretty good movie. So my number five is the movie Remember Me. Now this movie is a decent chick flick movie about a guy whose brother commits suicide and he has a bad relationship with his father. And he meets this girl and he starts to like her. And throughout this movie, he starts repairing his relationship with his father. But at the end of the movie, they decide to go with a huge, one of the biggest cop-outs in movie history, and they have him die in the Twin Tower terrorist attacks. I, I don't mind having him die in an attack like this, but don't use like a real, actual thing that happened like barely a decade. Like when this movie came out, 9-11 uh, happened barely a decade ago. And I feel like it was just sort of tasteless. Yeah, I fully do agree with that too. Whenever you have movies have like this huge message in the entire movie and you have this random scene that actually has nothing to do with it, even Pay It Forward, the ending had slightly something to do with the message. Not very good, but that one, it was just terrible. It had nothing to do with the message. Number four. 
So for my number four, I have Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Now, overall, I know what you're saying. This movie was the worst out of the four, but if you really look at it, it wasn't really that terrible of a movie. But whenever you have a movie like this building up after so many years, after the third one, which is a very iconic franchise, and then you have it do this the most notorious cop-out for a movie and have everything be aliens. That is just the worst ending, and I hate when movies do that. It's just, like I said, it's an extreme cop-out, and movies just need to start, stop doing that, but this one was probably the worst over all of them. So for my number four, I have the Superman that he had, the Christopher Reeves one, where he, uh, at the end of the movie, Lois Lane dies and decides to fly around the world in reverse time, which, just going along with what he said, it's a ridiculous thing. Superman is already overpowered enough, which I don't mind, but just to have him be able to turn back time in such a dumb way too. It's not even logical the way he does it. It's just a huge, horrible ending to oh, an overall good, great movie. Number three. So guys, my number three is Signs. And the reason why I have this as number three is you have this huge movie about aliens and there's this huge anticipation of everything, and you finally get to see these aliens, and it turns out at the very end, they find out all that destroys these aliens are this water, and I realized, you know, he went over this a while ago, but yeah, it just, it really just does not make sense to me the way they did that. It was just another kind of like, just quick cop out, because I couldn't think of anything else. Okay, so for my number three, I also have Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and to just go along with the way he said, I feel like th th this franchise is one of the most beloved, it's one of the most epic franchises in movie history. And they have so many mystical things and cool things that they didn't need aliens to be in this movie. It was just a huge, just a way for them to explain these things to happen and it just was a horrible way. Number two. So for number two, I have War of the Worlds starring Tom Cruise. And the reason why I have this number two, I felt like this was an extremely bad ending to this movie because you have these aliens throughout the whole movie. They're killing people. And you think at the end of this movie, they're all going to have, the humans are going to have this uprise and fight the aliens and kill them. But it turns out at the end of the movie, all that happens is that these aliens just don't have the immunity to actually fight off the viruses that we have on Earth. And, I, and, you know, there's nothing to that ending. There's nothing at all. It's, there was no strengthening to the humans at all. They just died, and they're not, never will you see these humans as strong characters. Yeah, and the reason why I don't like this, this ending is th throughout this entire movie, a lot of humans die. And at the end of the movie, it's, it's felt like a too happy of an ending for it to be, for the rest of the movie to be so destructive and all and everything. For the ending to be so happy it just didn't fit. So my number two is the movie Splice. Now this movie was probably one of the weirdest movies I've ever seen, but it actually started off pretty good. It's about these two scientists, a guy and a girl, and they they create this new species and they use some human DNA to put it along with it. So it's sort of a humanoid species. But the entire movie is a sci-fi great movie about this new species that they created and its evolution becoming a human being. And Towards the end of the movie, they decide to go with this horror route, and they decide to have this, the guy scientist have sex with this creature. He willingly has sex with this creature, and then towards the end of the movie, the creature changes sex into a male and rapes the woman. Actually, they show it raping the woman. He doesn't give up. And it turns out that she's pregnant with this baby. And it's just like one of the weirdest, just disturbing changes of pace of the movie. And it was just a horrible ending for me. All right, y'all, so before we do our number one, we are going to do a few dishonorable mentions. We're going to do two movies each of movies that we did not like the ending, but we felt like they weren't bad enough to actually be put in this top six list. So for my first honorable mention, I have Titanic, which I think we all know the ending of that movie, which is, you know, you have this huge uh, ship that crashes, which is obviously a true story, so I can't get mad at that part. 
But you have this love interest, and at the very end of the movie, uh, Leonardo Jack dies because he doesn't get on this board with Kate Winslet's character. And so he dies, uh, and there was no reason for him to actually die. For my other dishonorable mention, I'm going to have The Village, uh, another M. Night Shyamalan movie, in which you have this movie which uh, everybody is in ba way back in the day, and there's these huge monsters, and they're trying to figure out what's going on. And it turns out that in the end, they're all just some cold, just guarded from actual society in nowadays, and it turns out these monsters are actually made by the creators of this cult. And so I feel like that was just a terrible ending to that movie. All right, so for my first dishonorable mention, I want to bring up uh, Swiss Army Man. Now, this movie, I thought this movie is pretty perfect. We've done a review over it. We both gave it A+. Plus, but I feel like the ending was just... The, the whole message of the movie is finding acceptance in yourself. And I just felt like the end of the movie just was not... Just not, did not go along with the rest of the message of the movie. And for my second dishonorable mention, I'm going to bring up The Dark Knight Rises. Now, this movie, I actually like this movie, too. But throughout the whole movie, they're building up this this huge villain in Bane. And he's almost unstoppable physically and mentally to Batman. But at the end of the movie, they reveal that Bane wasn't even the one masterminding this whole plan. It was Talia al Ghul. And I felt like it ruined this whole massive, huge villain that they built up. And by the way, y'all, I actually... I'm going to say I actually do disagree with Zack from the Swiss Army Man. I felt like the ending was perfect because even though he didn't really find a lot of acceptance from other people, I felt like a lot of more, a lot of the other messages were to find acceptance in oneself, and that is one thing that he did at the end, and it really showed it. I really did think the ending was perfect. All right, guys, all ready for this? Number one. All right, guys, so just to let y'all know, we both agree on our number one, so we're going to talk about this one a little bit more than all of our other ones. For our number one, we agree on the movie The Mist. Now, this movie is based on a book by Stephen King. It's about these people in Maine, and this big mist storm shows up. It's a group of people, and they're trapped in a supermarket, and they're, they start to discover that this mist that's appearing throughout the entire town has actually creatures that are killing all these people and the whole movie is about them trying to survive against these creatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the movie's actually pretty good. What really adds a lot to this movie that I liked was this religious woman and she had a lot to that movie. This movie is actually pretty good. Right. You know, and then you, you get to the ending where they all, like I think like four of them, it's the, the main guy, his son, uh, and then like, th actually there's like three other yeah, people. It's, so it's, it's, uh, it's the main guy, his son, his little son, it's like a 10 year old son, um, uh, old man and old woman who are a couple, and then this girl that he meets at the supermarket and he actually starts to like, and they all escape the supermarket and they get to this car and they're traveling trying to escape this mist storm. Uh, they all realize something, they all realize there's no way that they can get out of this. Because they run out of gas. Yeah, and they're still, they're still missing, like there's no way we can get out of this and live. And so the sun's asleep and so, they realize they have a gun and they want to kill all themselves but they only have four bullets but there's five people and so the main guy gets the gun and it doesn't show it but it shows it from a distance but still you know and it shows it shows it afterwards he gets the gun and shoots every single person in that car except for himself because he can't and so he it's actually he, the acting is like really good in this scene especially he gets out of the car and he's like crying obviously he just killed his son and this these group of people who are innocent and he's like calling to the creatures because like these creatures some of them are like huge and he's like calling to them like come get me but all of a sudden out of nowhere the mist starts disappearing and the uh, american military come rushing in with tanks and everything and the mist is gone mm. yeah and so that ending was just awful for me. I know Stephen King loved it, but you know, he's just that kind of person that loves those ridiculous endings. And like, I haven't read the book, but I've read online that the book doesn't even end that way, which he says Stephen King liked the movie ending better. But I feel like that's just, it went to a level that shouldn't be reached in a movie and they tried to use it as a shock element, but just turned, it was just like a, a horrible idea. But that, to me, was the awful ending to this movie. It could have been so much better. It was a great movie overall, except for that. And that just kind of, that really, to me, ruined the entire movie. 
All right, guys. Well, that's the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Yeah, and let us know what you think of this video down in the comments below. Let us know if we think we can make any changes, if you liked it, what you think, any ideas you have. All right, guys. And just so y'all know, we also have social media pages in which we have an Instagram and.